going on guys welcome back fan 16 ps4 do me a favor like button subscribe button criticism in the comment section go over to twitter and share this video shut down safety is my username so you've stopped playing madden 16 right i know you've stopped playing madden 16 because a lot of you have stopped watching my videos now credit to most of you that have stuck around but my views have tapered off everybody's views have tapered off might have actually done a lot better than most of those in this community and that's not a slight on them that's me letting you know that i appreciate you coming through and watching my videos and you knowing that i'm going to be here to put in work and put out a video every single day for you because that's just what i do right we're going to talk about inconsistencies in this game because to me when you talk about the reason you put down a game inconsistencies are the number one thing now, I've got a pass interference video coming up later on in the week, and it talks about inconsistencies from play to play. But when we talk about inconsistencies in the same play, that should show you the depth of problems here. C.J. Anderson going to get this handoff, and look at the gap that he gets to run through. I mean, there's cliches in the NFL that talk about you could drive a truck through that gap. In this case, you could parallel park one in this gap and it's ridiculous to me to see a gap like this i mean listen he's not going to hit the gap the gap is going to hit him and i don't care what offensive defensive formations are being ran yes i'm in a 3-4 defense but look at the gap that he has here i mean it's just insane to think that a running back could have something like that to go through so let's talk about legacy issues here legacy issues that are gang tackling things that have impacted madden 25 12 9 you name it you've seen this problem in the game C.J. Anderson comes up, gets hit face-to-face -face with Newsom. I mean, you can just tell, face-to-face, -face, right? He's already went limp. They both went kind of flat. And then all of a sudden, Newsom spins around. Okay, now as Newsom spins around, Hughes comes and connects to this. Now, I'm going to bring up the box to show you I'm not controlling Robert Mathis because some people like to think I manufacture these videos and the game isn't that bad because they love to play it. Robert Mathis, though, is AI. User control is not here. It's actually on the defensive tackle trying to bring down the halfback. Now, why is it that Robert Mathis goes right past this interaction? Now, if you look at replays, if you break down gameplay, you know, the things this community was founded on, and you have a critical eye for things, you would notice that as soon as use releases from this tackle, then Mathis has apparently the green light to interact. And he turns right back, now at a worse position than he was initially, and comes in to make the tackle. Now, is this because tackling in this game is still broken where there can't be more than two interactions per one offensive player? I don't know. But I also find it extremely humorous that once I've taken back control of Robert Mathis and led him into the tackle he should have been involved with in the beginning, we talk about now players that are so unaware of where they are on the field that he leads him back over and puts basically Anderson on Hughes's back because he's going to carry the team, right? And then dumps him right on his spine. To me, it's just a bad look. And it's things like this that make you put a game away, make you put a game down, make you look for other options. NBA 2K, just say. Playing it for you at speed, not a good look. You knew I couldn't get two positive videos off and not have one negative, right? Appreciate you guys sticking through this. Be back tomorrow with more content. As always, like I said, man, the views have went down, but I know I've got true fans. I see you guys on Twitter. I really do appreciate it. Don't take it for granted.